that I was telling people recently, again, just with St. Patrick's Day in the air, if people ask me all the time about what Ireland is like these days and what it was like when I was growing up. And one of the things that I always got a kick out of in Ireland, and those of you who visited, especially in the old days, will know that it's a very small country with very small communities. And there was a wonderful system of writing uh, addresses. You could write an address to the woman who lives across the road from the Blue Pub. <laughs> and literally, Clannacilty, County Cork. And the postman would say, oh yeah, that's Betty Brosnan, you know, she lives across the road from the Blue Pub. And she had Americans visiting recently, so I know that the letter is going to get to her. In the reverse, the Irish uh, in the old days used to think that America was a similarly small place. And they would write the most absurd uh, addresses on, uh, on envelopes, including this woman. I'm going to do a short song that's about a woman who wrote uh, to her son in America and basically wrote on the envelope to my son in America. <laughs> so it goes like this. Many years ago in the county Mayo, the story at first began. Before emigration was finally cured by the first economical plan. A brave young lad had to leave his home and travel across the sea. But he got well paid in the building trade on the shores of America. He got on very well but he sent nothing home till his mother began to think that he'd run away with a blunder. He was spending his money on drink. She wrote him a letter and folded it up and sent it on its way. And on the cover she plainly wrote to my son in America. Well, the postman collected the letter she wrote and he drove in his van to Cork. And he placed it on a liner in Cove which landed then in New York. And there with the whiskey and everything else that mailbag stood on the quay. And among the rest was this letter addressed to my son in America. Now American postmen I needn't relate, they are rather like me and you. And when they got to this letter at last they didn't know what to do. They looked up all the official lists, ah, but these had nothing to say. There was no directory could help them to find the sun in America. Well, it lay around the office for years and years, and it gave all the boys a laugh. To let length some time and then some years had passed since the training of the staff. With every new postman who came on the job it was shown with his first cup of tea. Or this letter officially addressed to my son in America. Well the son he got older and wiser too and at last to himself he said. Oh, how is my dear old mother at home, or is she alive or dead? He walked round the block to the GPO, there he stood with his cap in his hand. By any chance there'd be a letter for me from my mother in Ireland. <laughs> oh, yes, kind sir, and here it is. We've been waiting for you for years. We knew that someday someone would come from Cork old in the sheer with the 200 million that's living now in the middle of the USA for a mother in Ireland we're plow proud to have found your son in America <laughs>